Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today is June 12th, 2021, and this is my pepper grow update. Yeah, so I started with peppers I've got on the porch. I just have these two olive ricottos, and this is also a grow comparison between the grow bucket and the DIY uh, double bucket setup. And occasionally I do swap these around just to make sure they're getting even amounts of light. So far, uh, they look about the same to me as I kind of expected. These are a couple of white Thomas Hall tomatoes. I'll probably put them in a cracky tub. And just to show, since it's here, this is a um, Tiny Tim tomato in a little hanging basket. It's just got slow release fertilizer, but it's starting, it's a tiny one on there, starting to produce. So I had some quality control issues with the black cow this year. I underestimated what I needed by about one bag and Two of the bags that I had didn't actually have the compost manure in them. They were more like a mulch type material. So I took those back to the store where I got it to exchange it. And they they were about to, and they checked one they were about to give me. And, and the whole pallet was messed up with the, um, with the mulch licking stuff. And I went to another store. I couldn't find any. So basically, a few of these plants don't have any compost manure. Really, the main reason I use it is kind of, a bridge between uh, the initial planting and when the slow release kicks in kind of gives them something to feed on uh, immediately and so some of these are probably going to look a little yellow but they should catch up at some point it's been about two weeks maybe a little less since i put these out here i just put out a video showing my potty mix setup so i'll link that in the description i try to keep the like ones together but these two here this one and this one are Meko Akakasrade. It's a African Chinense. This is a Peach Mayan Hab F2 from Susan Garza. And this one is as well. And I've got the next three are the three way boot called Fino. This one had. Um, had kind of a rough start, but it's coming back. So it's got a few leaves. See where I lost a lot of leaves. Uh, this one's much better looking. Some nice dark foliage. Nice leaves on it. And this one has um, nice foliage, but they're smaller leaves and not purple or as purple. So, um, so there's, this is still really unstable, but so we'll see how those do. These next two are my cross. I call it Sweet Shito. It's a Shishito crossed with Stavros. And this one's just now starting to get some bud sites. And this one, um, a little further along, had a bunch of, but it's got some little peppers. And they, they will ripen to red eventually. I've got on the end two white Thomas salt tomatoes. Uh, the one's in a grow bucket, and the other is in a DIY bucket and bucket setup. And these aren't being run typically the way they're intended. I've actually got drip emitters, and the overflow will drain through the bottom and end up in the reservoir. So it's not how it's designed to work, but they should work fine. These next three are uh, red Buchalokia. This first one doesn't look as good. Uh, maybe one of these that um, didn't get the nutrients. Or I didn't get the black cow. But the new growth looks pretty good. There's another red Buchalokia. It's a little better. And a third red Buchalokia. This is the uh, old school boot that Jimmy Johnson sent me seeds for. And I saved seeds from that plant last year. This one I know didn't get the black cow. It's It's got some damage. It almost looks like the... Um, four line bug damage because I've seen a few of those and you can see the little spots on that. I've seen, I saw some last year. We don't have a lot of them, but that's almost looks like what that damage is. This is a better looking California Reaper. It's coming along pretty well. And I've got two chocolate uh, Primo crosses. This one looks pretty good. It's one of my favorite peppers from last year. And this is the other one. And this is the Reaper Cross with Chupatino. 
it actually looked better before I brought it out, but it's, um, I guess, you know, it kind of got set back a little bit, but I think it'll come back fine. The same with this Weary Weary. It's got some new foliage. It's probably small right now, but it'll, it'll um, take off soon. So this is a uh, Kingstar Kingsta Yellow. And this one is as well. It's one of my favorites from last year. This is a Lemon Starburst. This is a Fairy Across Yellow that I saved seeds from last year. And this one is as well. Leaves are pretty similar. These are a little bit longer. This is a Kingstar Langria. It's got some fruits on it. This is a seed from the uh, big cracky barrel I had last year. And this is a mango hab. I got another one after this. These, the leaves looked yellow always from the start. So that's just how this one is. There's another one. And this is a jalapeno. A safe seed from a red jalapeno I got at a produce stand. It was really huge, so I wanted to grow it. And this is a Trinidad Dog Brown. I need to prune these branches off. It kind of got set back a little bit. It's got a lot of nice growth coming out on it. And this is a Reaper Cross with Maruga. It's one I usually grow every year. And there's another Reaper Cross with Maruga. And the next two are the Jericho Orange. This is uh, from Safe seed from a pod from Jeff Hobbs, and he said that this one's got the fuzzy stems, and he said that was a, a, a kind of unusual trait. As you can see, this one doesn't really have it, so it's cool that I've got one of both. And uh, so I got a, some fruits there, and I've got got some ripe. Another one there. This is um, from a clone of one of last year's plants. It's a large orange tie. And I kept it going indoors and it's starting to, to grow out again. This is a Cusco Market Peru. It's a capsicum bacatum. It's growing really well. And this is a yellow reaper. This is save seed from a pod that Jim Kingman gave me. And this is a Kangstar Crimson Star. It's also from a pod that Jim Kingman sent me. I save seeds from it. So yeah, so I think got off to a good start. Have a little bit of an adjustment period and they usually start taking off so um, I think they I think they look okay and I'll try to do start doing more regular updates it's been about a month since I did the last update so yeah so I try to do at least one once every week or two weeks and show how they're how they progress so uh, anyway I hope you like that thank you very much for watching please like comment and subscribe